Hey folks, I'm Dr. Patty Barch, and for the sake of this video, let's just say that I'm a virus. And let's go with popular beer virus, why not? So, you know, a lot of people don't realize that a virus isn't really like a living organism. It doesn't eat, it doesn't excrete. It's literally just um, a collection of DNA or RNA in a shell, in an envelope. And what it does is, a virus gets into a cell, hijacks the DNA, and makes copies of itself. Those copies get burst out of the cell, go into other cells, they make copies of themselves. They're really just like a um, photocopier, right? They're just a copy machine. So anyway, um, as a virus, my whole job is to just keep making copies of myself. That's my mission in life, should I choose to accept it. So there's something that happens when there is a massive campaign to create antibodies in tons of people all at the same time while there's a widespread infection going on. And so what happens is you have a bunch of me and my virus copies. We're like out there in the world and we are trying to get into as many people as possible to make copies of ourselves. So we have to be careful though because if I kill the host, they stop spreading me. So the, the success rate of a virus really depends on how well it can infect multiple organisms without killing them. And while they're infected, they make lots and lots of copies. So a problem happens when you do this mass antibody campaign um, while there's a uh, massive infection going on and that's something called antigenic shift. So we've all heard about antibodies. Antibodies are the tag that your um, body puts on an antigen. An antigen is the pointy protein in this case. So the antigen um, is the molecule that the immune system recognizes as a bad guy and it will tag it with an antibody. So, they created these uh, things that um, all these people started making antibodies against me in my black hat. And I'm no foolish virus. I mean, I've seen the born identity. I know what to do when, when, they're on, when like all these antibodies are on the lookout for me. I know what to do. I change my appearance. So then the antibodies don't match. So all those antibodies are floating around the body and they're looking for the black hat antigen. And I'm just like walking around all cool because those antibodies, they can't see me. So what's awesome if somebody already knew me and they, I already had been in their body and they'd already created antibodies against me, no matter what hat I put on, they're always gonna remember because they have facial ID, they have fingerprint ID, they know every single part of my body. So if I change my hat and I put on sunglasses, it doesn't matter because their immune system's gonna get it done. So that's a process called antigenic shift and it happens when you put a virus under pressure that pressure causes me to change my hat so that I can avoid the antibodies. So the current things are all looking for me in a black hat, all of them. But my black hat is gone. This is the new Delta me, right? I like this one. Yep, it's awesome. So um, the, <laughs> people are gonna lose their job because they're refusing to put something into their body that is only effective against black hats. Let that sink in. There's your science lesson for the day. Peace out, peeps.